Hey, welcome back guys. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about any types of pesticide usage for your crops and herbs and greens. Stick around. All right guys, just a little update for you all. Um, I encountered a little bit of a problem um, in reference to some pests, some incense that were, um, you know, attacking our crop. Basically, a couple of days ago, I started noticing that underneath the leaves of our um, cilantro, we started getting these little gnats. Um, can't remember the top of the top of my name, the, the name of it, because I'm very new to these little insects. So basically, I'll put it down in the description down below. Um, basically, these little insects um, have been, you know, attaching to the bottom of the leaves. They can easily be taken off. But they, they seem to keep coming back. So I went to my local hydroponics uh, garden, or I'm sorry, the local hydroponics store that we have here. And basically I was talking to the gentleman there and um, I was explaining the, uh, the problem that we were having. He recommended me a couple of the products, um, but I stopped him in the procedure because he was telling me about chemical based, um, uh, what is it called, the the uh, pesticides and basically I wanted an organic why why do I recommend or why did I want to use an organic base because these are going to be sold to uh, you know family members or, or friends or families around the area and basically I want to provide something that is the most organic form of you know these herbs and greens so basically you know I ruled out I took out the, the whole chemical based harmful for your environment also for your consumption and I went with an organic base this is called a neem oil um, pesticide basically what it does it takes care of any fungicides insecticides and also pesticides and basically it's a 70 30 uh, mixture basically 70 percent uh, neem oil the rest is in water and alcohols um, to dilute the the um in the mixture you can also i've been researching you can also buy this in a 100 percent form um i can't remember the word there is a reason why you want to get it 100 the most purest you can i'll put it down right here um with this chemical base that's inside of the nemo what it does is that it attacks any types of pest that um about 200 different types of pests that this uh hurts um in reference to once they consume the, any types of pests that are chewing on your leaves when they consume the nemo, it starts to uh, break down their nerve system, their brain, and their um, intakes on um, the their digestive systems, and it paralyzes them, and eventually they'll die out within a several days. Now. It sounds cruel to them, but I mean, they're little ensigns. They multiply on a rapid base, and you know, you want to nip it in, you know, as quickly as possible because they will start to hurt your plants. Now, again, um, the Nemo that's the reason why I went with that in reference to it's not harmful to us, and, and neither is harmful to the environment. So, um, I went with that. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Our hydroponic system is looking great. Um, one thing to note that if you buy this, this uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this uh, Nemo, you when you mix it, you have to mix it on a for every one gallon you're gonna use, you're gonna use one ounce. I would just take a little bit off of it. Because what I encountered is that I did it exactly from one ounce to a gallon and it kind of burnt off the leaves. Also to keep in mind guys that you want to spray this in the evening when the sun is completely down the temperatures are cool because what I've seen is that on a couple of you as you can see I'm going to show you right now is that some of these leaves were burnt out and basically it um, you know it hurts our production because the leaves are burnt out we're going to have to cut these off but Thank God that it didn't burn out our entire plant. So I still have it here, um, basically, for you can see it. Now, this is how it looks like. You get this white film. As you can see, that it starts to come down. You want to shake it up very good until it gets into like a milky white. Okay. Once it's like this on a milky white, then you can go ahead and use it. So... Um, I would put a little bit of Dawn because I've also used this before. It's like you put like a, a half an ounce of Dawn into a gallon of water and you spray that and it gets these, um, those little furry white, I don't know if you guys have seen these, those little furry white, um, 
aphids or something like that that they're called and it gets rid of those quickly with just dawn um, I just put a, like a dot of dawn in there just to spray them and and get anything else that might occur throughout the process now this Nemo works on a seven day base once your insects or pesticides have disappeared then you spray on a 14 day cycle to keep them away as much as possible be sure that once you guys have sprayed all of your your um your product or your herbs and greens that you wash them off clean you know wash them off get them nice and clean so when the next person that's going to handle these they don't have any problems with um, consumption of neem oil um basically um our future updates videos that which you guys should be sticking around for are updates on our aeroponic on our fog ponic system which has been doing pretty well everything is rooting out really good we're going to show you a future video on that in the next couple of days also we're going to be working on i'm already sorting out the materials for an aeroponic system so make sure you guys stick around to get a further update on the aeroponic system and for all of you watching the videos that haven't subscribed to the channel please be um subscribe down to the channel down below so we can update you with all of our future videos and updates to our procedures and our products and um make sure that you hit that thumbs up so we can see that you like the video if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below guys so we can get in touch with you there and i thank you for watching the video i'll see you guys on the next one